the basket too. On the show, there's all sorts of plots going on. My character's got a stalker. What else? We're getting all the gift baskets ready. Oh, yeah. Because I didn't tell you guys about this. Cheryl, I gotta, I gotta figure out. The, I gotta find out the name of that for us because we're gonna mention it on the show. For the roundup, this big charity thing we're doing. Uh, we were each supposed to do five baskets. Well, Cheryl either got mixed up or she's trying to outdo me. Now she did ten of them. So anyway, what we're doing today, so that means we have to do ten of them. I guess so we're back collar conditioning this puppy. So what I'm using today is Greg's collar, the e educator. So remember, what I'm saying to myself is... It's my job to let this dog know that that's me communicating. Don't let him around. Don't let him see you. Don't let him see you. Wait! scenario where, you know, I don't know, you know what, I saw this on the Ian Dunbar thing, where one person's holding the dog while it struggles to get away to the other person that's calling it, you know, that they don't see, you know, you don't want any dynamic where a dog is struggling to get away from one person so they can get it to run fast. They don't have the pager, so that's how they try to do it. Do you see what I'm saying, mm -hmm. Summer? Can you see how around here, dogs that were taught to tear away from one person Rusty. Wouldn't work out too good. <laughs> that wouldn't work out. Oh, come on, let's go. Who cares? Alright, so what I'm looking for, you guys, and I've got these dogs here by design, and I guarantee you my little blind dog is gonna appear here in a minute. Mm -hmm. Um you know, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you wanted to shut a little dog like this down. Uh, it would be real easy to do. These dogs do not come from collar bloodlines. They're very, very intelligent and very, very sensitive. If this dog even thinks it hears you raising its voice at another dog, it's, I mean, you can see it. Its little ears go back. His little teddy bear ears start to flatten out. So I'm gonna tell you what I've got going to my advantage. This jacket. Or I can hide my remote. <laughs> so what I'm saying to myself is I know what I've got here is a dog that's probably going to look before it runs. And I know you guys see on most of our videos, I mean, they do have the spin. A lot of them do start out that way, though. I remember that one dog, Zip, in the beginning. I mean, oh my God, you'd have to be six inches from him. And I want to do it right now. I might do it then, later in the conditioning process. I'll tell you that. I'm not gonna do it now, though. So I've got my finger on the button. Oh, you're going to see I've already got him dealing and everything. Look how full the pond is, Summer. I know, it looks really nice. Maybe we need to just... Go oh. swimming? Oh, well, get, our floats, get our floats maybe, out and uh, go maybe swimming? Maybe we can get George to go pick up our new picnic table and stuff. Yeah, he probably, he'll do that. Zoe parked all night. All right, so I'm looking for, I'm going to tell you where they it's like to go. It's not good. There's something around that we're going to have to go. Start backing up slowly. Start backing up slowly, slowly. Don't look, so. 
There's something around that corner. Remember, remember that day? Birdie disappears around there. Keep going, keep going, keep moving. Hold on, I've got to be headed the way here. Uh-oh, did you see that? My rabbit, probably. I bet it was a bunny. He took off, too. Don't let that Akita get it. Here I come. I'm coming. Oh my. Oh. No, it was probably a rabbit. Like a baby deer. A baby reindeer. Oh, it's all smashed down in the middle there, huh? Good lord. Where'd he take off to? Well, he was looking over here. I don't know. All right, come on, let's go. As long as it's no creepers. All right, so what I'm saying to myself, you guys, is I think because I was working on the healing this morning, he's kind of trying to do that now. So what I'm going to say to myself, and this is what you guys at home have to be ready. Uh, to assess, you know, am I going to keep trying to work on the recall on a dog that's right in front of me? Or should I just move on to, you know, because he's saying to himself we were working on the healing earlier. Right, go off down that way, back down that way. So I don't know, birdies disappeared in the bushes now. Just push this guy and maybe we'll notice we're going. All right, so just you keep moving, and if we can get a recall on that way, uh, coming back at me, we'll do it. If not, we'll just go and get our little cone. Without, without, without. Call Molly. It's dedicated Molly. Molly. in a row. If two times in a row what I didn't want to happen happened, that would be bad. That's like Ollie. I don't even know how many times he's run off and they couldn't catch him. Do you, Summer? Just a guess how many times. And he's fast, so you let me just, can imagine. Uh, uh, okay, here, let me give you true or false. <laughs> Ollie's probably run off more than once. True or false? <laughs> true. True. No, that's what we should have. We should have like a questionnaire. We should. Oh, we please, can do that. Please look at him, all some... happy, excited, because he just ate a bunny. No, he didn't no, but there's something he he's did, playing. Somewhere. Somebody right, get on him. Get on him. Get he's on all get on hyped up about something. Blaze. 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 Oh, you little smarty. Uh, no, he's just rolled in something. Come on. Yeah, I saw that. Him. Now he's going to chase after he's us. A little, on him. He's a little hunter. <laughs> yeah, now he's chasing after him with what? his... Whatever's on him. So what I'm saying to myself now... Oh, God, here we go. Those were all distance. I do want to do... And I, I always try to say that to you guys at home. And I know it's not as always easy, but training dogs isn't easy, so you guys at home have got to figure it out. Initially, and, you know, honestly, I would say chronically, do the dogs like, you need to bias the recall more towards distance when the dog is far away, not when the dog is close to you. You know, and if I said I was going to draw a line you know, as far away as these dogs would go from me, you know, I mean, you see there's a certain point, don't you, Summer, where mm -hmm. they just start to watch out your ants. 
where they just start turning around on their own. Oh yeah, oh no, he's got it on both sides of his face. Do you see that? When Callie gets a bath, he's gonna have to get a bath. Yeah. Alright, come on. We'll give you a bath. Alright, so just work your way over there. So what I'm gonna do is just try to get one more recall in, and then I can say to myself, I, you know, I'm starting to solidify that behavior. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for him in motion, and I'm looking to reward him right here. Blaze! I, I gotta tell you, Skip and Debbie, I am madly in love with this dog. I am madly in love with this dog. That was a little bit more distance. I can do a little bit shorter one this time. Play! I'm telling you, they fall for those hand motions <laughs> and stuff. You know, half of them never see their owners run, though. It's like, you know, like when kids run and stuff. I had, I didn't tell Summer this. I had, um, I made Cheyenne, I didn't make her, but I just put the video. I said, you know, run. But, and Briggy and them, you know, they weren't really even chasing her. But it was good because they were... You know, they were trained enough, they didn't really chase her. But I made her run and then come, you know, kids gotta learn. She's gotta to learn how to do something. Learn to train the dogs or something, like discipline. Her. Their instruction and... We're gonna oh, teach her. We're gonna saw the boots she had on. <laughs> They're you know, so cute. Let's just say if I had to go running in boots, I wouldn't, you know. Probably wouldn't last too long. Yeah. I, sure. I'm just gonna do, do you step in ants? No. Well, we better. I right, need to get her uh, some sneakers. She probably don't have any. Probably we, find some goodwill. Yeah, maybe we can, you know, okay. I don't want to overspoil the kid, but we could, you know, like take her, you know, to Bell's Outlet or something for like a little Christmas shopping spree. The kid probably never had that, you know, the mom never did that. All right, look, so I'm going to do one little bit shorter. Oh my God, I can smell him. He stinks so bad. That does smell like deer poop. It and probably he keeps, is. He keeps looking over there. I bet there's a baby deer over there. There was one last year. Why wouldn't there be one this year? No, yeah, definitely. It's a good time to have a little baby. So the I, you, I'm going to tell you right now, if 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 you if you guys said to me, Skip and Debbie, that we want a dog with a really slow recall, that wouldn't be hard with one like this. If I just tried to stay, I, I honestly, Helen posted something on Facebook that was like, oh, a good dog trainer isn't limited by the tools. Well, I am. So I must not be any good because if you took this away from me, I don't want to train dogs because... It's too hard to communicate with them. They have too much of a mind of their own, and they do what they want. It's frustrating. Yeah. It's a frustrating life. Whereas Who wants to battle? It's an argument. Who wants? Nobody likes oh, to well, argue. That's, you know, it's, it's like a battle. Why would you want to battle if you don't have to? Exactly. Why would you set yourself up for that? Yeah. All right, look, so i got a fairly short distance. Blaze! So that's what you guys want to think of. These dogs, any northern breeds, are so aware of any little body movement. And I want you to see their eyes. I mean, you need to picture the world, you know, you're him mm -hmm. and you're looking at us. You know what I mean? That's, you know, in his eyes, and I would say it's probably a thread in this breed because Scarlet, the husky, you know, those northern dogs was the same way. They're not going to handle any correction. I mean, minimal. You better have yourself set up for what you want to do if you're going to put pressure on one of these. I mean, and I did to get the trainer's retrieve on Scarlet, but if you think that she flew through the air and all those things because I corrected her for not doing it, not at all. She brought that on herself. And I will always, always love that dog. And if, I would hope that somebody would see that husky and say, you know, I want to get a husky as good as that. Because I don't know as I'd ever have another dog as good as her. Summer, I mean, she would just flip through the air. Well, she's really We need to get Mavis dog. back. All right, now I'm going to show you when I'm going to interject my little pager here if I can. Well, Mavis would love to come and play. These dogs love to train. They love it. All right, and I'll tell you what he likes to do, get in the water and get a mess. So I'm going to, even though he is, I'm going to wait till yeah. 
you know, I've got to tell you guys, I am crazy mad in love with this dog. I'm just so thrilled to even have the opportunity to work with a dog like this. Who else it's even a has a dog spot. like this around here? I'll tell you who. Nobody. We're in a bad spot. I think we need to change his name to Bear. Blaze! Oh, the baby, not me. I guess I'm gonna be right back and I'll show you where I already got him started healing. 